This is Professor Eric Manley from Drake University. In this video, we're going to put all of the components we've seen in the previous three videos. We're going to put them all together, add a, another new component um, to make a really, really cool app. It's a live translation app. Here's how it works. Hi, how are you? Hola, como estas? See, notice what I did. I spoke into it using that speech recognizer, um, and I had it translate what I said into Spanish. It said, hello, it said, hola, como estas? So we're going to make an app that can push a button, you speak into it, and then it live translates it. So if you ever find yourself in a foreign country, an app like this is kind of nice. You can speak in your own language and then have it automatically translated into another language. Okay, so let's see how this works. Okay, so um, we're going to create a new project. Let's start a new project. Call it Live Translator. There we go. Okay, so just like before, we're going to have a button. This button is going to be the button we push when we want it to start doing the translation. So let's just have it say translate. Okay, so the button says translate. And notice we're going to use several different components from, you know, things that we've already done. We're going to need a speech recognizer because we're going to need it to recognize whatever we're saying. Um, we're going to need to have it take some text and turn it into speech. And we're going to need a translator. It just so happens that there is a translator, Yandex translator. There's a component that can actually translate messages. So we're going to use these three components together very cleverly to kind of come up with the app that we've had. Well, the app that I showed you anyway. So, okay. Um, so let's go over and look at the blocks. All right. Now, just like always, something's going to happen when the button clicks. Okay, when the button clicks, we do what? Well, we've got three different options. So let's think about what happens first. When we click the button, that little box popped up that asked us to start speaking. So that's really what we need to happen first. So I think we need something from the speech recognizer drawer. So let's use that call speech recognizer get text. Okay, and just like before, when it's done getting the text, we're going to have it do something else. Okay, so when the speech recognizer has gotten the text, we're going to do something with the result. So let's think about what we want to do with the result. Well, I think at this point, this would be a good time to translate that into another language. So let's see what we can do with the translator. Okay, so notice the translator has a call block, and the call block allows you to request a translation um, of some text, and it says language to translate it to. Okay, so that's interesting. So we can fill in the text to translate. Just like before, we want to do something with the result. This is the text that it received from the speech recognizer, right? So we want to get the result. That's what we wanted to have it translate. And the language that we want to translate it to, well, I chose Spanish. Spanish is one of the ones that it that um, App Inventor has built into it. So that's one of the ones we can use. You could try a different one if you like. Um, but let's go back over and look real quick at um, like speech to text. Or sorry, text, yeah, text to speech. So you'll notice that one of the things that it has in here is a language, right? So when we have it speak, speak the language, we have a bunch that we could choose. So EN, that means English. Uh, DE, that means German, it's Deutsch. Uh, and then Spanish is Yes, Espanol. So when we have this, the, the text to speech, when we have it speak, we're going to have it speak Spanish. So the code you'll see for speaking Spanish is ES. So back over in the blocks, that's what we're going to tell it here too. We want it to translate, the language to translate to should be Spanish. So the way that you get it to do that is you select, um, you can go to text, the drawer for text, and you can find that text that text block, plug it in, and in here we're going to put ES. That's going to say translate this to Spanish. So translate whatever result you get into Spanish. Okay, well then what? Well, then we need it to actually 
speak it. So what's the message that it should speak, right? So we ultimately need to, to have it speak a message, but how exactly do we do that? Well, um, let's see what else we can do. So just like there was a when block of something that happened after the speech recognizer ran, maybe there's a when block for after the, the translation is done. So after we've asked for the translation service. Uh, yep, and look at that. There's a when block that says when the translator, Yandex Translate 1, dot got translation, well, then we're going to speak a message. So this part I'm going to leave for you to figure out. How do I finish this off? What exactly should the message be that is spoken by the text-to-speech? See if you can figure that out and then test it out. Good luck.